Hey guys, so I got a video out of your requested. We're going to do a speed test between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Xperia X Performance. Now I will be doing the same test versus a lot of other phones like the Galaxy Note 7, uh, the Xperia XA Ultra, the iPhone 7. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. But for now we are doing against the X Performance. So let's get started. We're going to power both these on at the same time. So yeah, I gotta say that the uh, 7 Plus has been really fast when I've been using it. Of course, it does have the new A10 chipset. Also upgraded to 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now the X Performance has a Snapdragon 820 with 3 as well. 3 gigabytes of RAM. And you see there, um, so the iPhone 7 Plus will up really quickly. It's running iOS 10. And experience performance still loading up. Uh, so some other stats. So the X performance has a 5 inch screen. 1080p. 441 pixels per inch. Uh, the S. Um, rather not the S7. The uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Has a 5.5 inch screen. 401 pixels per inch. Alright so let's go get started. And we will do Temple Run 2 first. Oh, and let's just make sure everything closed out. They are. Okay, so here we go, Temple Run. And I do expect the iPhone to win most of this. Generally, the apps are better optimized, especially for games. And you see they're really, really quick. So we're in the first round pretty easily. All right, let's look at some more. Do Chrome in a minute. Let's do CNN. Okay, so that one goes to the X performance. Settings. Really quick on both. I funny. Tad bit faster on the iPhone, not by much at all though. Uh, YouTube. Really close, I think that might have been a tad bit faster on the iPhone, but really neck and neck. Calculator. Again, neck and neck. Uh, clock. Same result. Dex performance definitely one of the fastest phones I own. Uh, what's the ESPN? Okay, so that one was pretty clearly won by the iPhone. Uh, what's the eBay? Again, iPhone there. Let's do photos. Same result, iPhone. Uh, let's do Asphalt 8. Okay, so iPhone pretty easily won that. Uh, so some other stats for the phones. 23 megapixel rear facing camera on the X performance versus 12. Uh, although, so 12 on the iPhone um, 7 Plus. Although it does have dual cameras on the back. So I actually just posted a video about that a minute ago if you want to check that out. Uh, video comparison at night. Uh, the front facing camera is 7 megapixels versus 13 on the X performance. Uh, so both these you can get in 32 gigabytes. You can also get X performance in 64. Uh, for seven plus they have it available in 128 and 256 as well. Battery size 2700 for the X performance versus 2900 uh, for the seven plus. Uh, already went over Snapdragon. So Snapdragon 820, um, Apple A10 chipset. Both 3 gigabytes of RAM, both have stereo speakers, uh, both are water resistant, great new feature, glad that Apple is finally doing that, you know, Sony's been doing it for a while. Uh, both have fingerprint scanners, which I'm going to test out in a minute. Apple has 
see there, Bitening port at the bottom, DX Performance, uh, micro USB, and DX Performance, uh, it also costs around, depends like which model you get, but it's around 50 to 100 cheaper. So let's look at the camera app. And we'll still get the Chrome. I want to do this first. So again, I do have much more and we'll have more uh, extensive videos in this on my channel for the camera. Let's just see how quick they are snapping some pictures. Okay, so iPhone a little bit faster there. Uh, let's look at Chrome. All right, let's do, and yeah guys, I am doing Chrome. I, I don't like Safari or anything else. Uh, I think Chrome is the best browser. I don't know in terms of speed, but just in terms of having Google all in one place, I think it's great. IGN. Faster there on the iPhone, let's do CNN. All right, so again, faster on the iPhone, let's do Nintendo. Same result, faster on the iPhone. Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the iPhone here. Of course, Sony did just come out with a new phone, the XZ. Although, well, I guess it's not out quite yet, but we'll be out in a month. So we'll be doing another test versus that when it comes out. Okay guys, so I think iPhone pretty clearly won the Chrome. Um, let's see, let's do, so both these, as I mentioned, do have fingerprint scanners. I'll show you how they work. X performance on the side. I think it's a pretty good fingerprint scanner. See there, no issues with it. Now the 7 Plus. So you do the loading animation after, but of course you also have loading animation with the X performance. Um, honestly guys, both the fingerprint scanners on these phones are excellent. Huge improvements over phones that we've had in the year past. Uh, the Z5, for example, Xperia Z5 thought it had pretty bad fingerprint scanner, especially over time. Um, so as I mentioned, both have speakers. I will be doing a more in-depth um, video on that later, but don't think I'm going to cover it right now. And just to look at the build quality on these. So, see there, the 7 Plus. And actually, I mentioned earlier that the 7 Plus is around 50 to 100 cheaper. I actually think it's a bigger gap. I was thinking more around the 7. This, so the 7 itself, just the plain version, is around 650 for the base model. Uh, the X performance you can get for around, uh, at this point, around 550 to 600 for the 32 gigabyte version. Um, now with the 7 Plus, it's going to run you around 750. So actually a bigger gap than I had mentioned earlier. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Now personally, I think both these are great phones. Of course, I still need to use the iPhone more. But I like what I've seen so far. Uh, I think that they've taken after some of the things that Xperia made great, like waterproofing. Um, and on paper, I mean, a lot of the specs are similar. Again, with the three gigabytes of RAM, stereo speakers, water resistance. Um, so yeah, guys, overall, I think these are both great phones. I think the iPhone pretty, uh, pretty clearly won this test, though. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. As I mentioned, I will have more like this. Uh, actually, I think I'll probably just do it versus the Galaxy Note right now. All right, guys, thanks again for watching.